Uh huh. Yep. It's time to eat. And if you're anything like me, you stay with the sweet tooth. So today we're going to make one of my favorites, which is lemon chocolate chip pecan cookies. I have already set the oven to preheat at 350 and I have greased my cookie sheet. We're going to start by mixing two eggs. Let that mix for about 30 seconds until it is smooth. Add one tablespoon of water. If you like me and don't have a tablespoon, but have a medicine cup, it's 15 milliliters. If you don't have that and you have a teaspoon, one tablespoon is also three teaspoons. Add a half cup of oil. Add in lemon cake mix. Whatever your favorite one is, go ahead and add it. This is my favorite because it has pudding in the mix. So it's already moist and it's just delicious. It's just my favorite, but really you can't go wrong with any of them. Let it mix until it is well blended. Always have a spatula so that you can scrape the sides and get as much of your batter as possible. Add in as much or as little as milk chocolate chips that you like. Also add in as much or as little as pecans that you like. Once you have all the chocolate chips and pecans that you want in the bowl, fold them in like this. As you can see, my cookie sheet is greased and this is what I use. I just use some cooking spray, olive oil, butter, spray, whatever. A cooking spray is fine. This is my cookie scoop. You can also use just a regular eating spoon, but you need to coat it with all-purpose flour. To coat it, you can either use, uh, put it in water first and then put flour on it to make the flour stick. But what I always do is I actually coat it with cookie dough first, and that also helps it stick. And I recoat the spoon, I would say, about every other time that I scoop. Depending on how big you make your cookies depends on how many cookies you will get. With the cookie scooper that I use, I usually get about 20 cookies from this. As you can see, the flour on some of the cookies from me coating the cookie scooper in flour, but that's the importance of using all-purpose flour and not self-rising because self-rising has salt and baking powder in it, which will add a flavor. Now I'm going to put this in the oven for eight minutes on 350. Depending on your oven, the amount of time it takes to cook your cookies will vary. But it's delicious all the same because the way that lemon hit that chocolate, hit them pecans, can't go wrong. See y'all next time. <laughs>